now let's uh, let's try this question based on number system once again uh, we have to find out the remainder so what is the remainder when 236 uh, bit font clarity is not there 236 raised to 57 plus 248 uh, raised to 57 plus 487 raised to 57 plus 9 raised to 171 if it is divided by 242 what is the remainder so see uh, 236 and 242 the difference is 6 right 236 is minus 6 raised to 57 will be remainder from this similarly the difference is plus 6 okay then uh, 242 uh, double of 242 is 484 right so this 484 plus 3 raised to 57 right so here the remainder is 3 raised to 57 and here it is uh, just can convert it to power of 3 342 now see this uh, uh, it, it's not power so you'll be getting remainder as minus 6 raised to 57 and here it is 6 raised to 57 so they will be mutually cancelled so now we are left with 3 raised to 57 plus 3 raised to 342 now we have 3 raised to 5 that is 243 right so 3 raised to 5 that is 243 that is just one more than 242 so what we can do we can convert uh, this to 3 raised to 5 and let's see what happens so 3 raised to 57 I can write it as 3 raised to 55 into 3 square plus uh, 3 raised to a uh, multiple of 5 I just take a side right now this is for multiple of 5 and this is also multiple of 5 so 3 raised to 55 it can be written as 243 raised to something whether the power is even or odd really doesn't matter over here because 243 is plus 1 than 242 so 242 plus 1 raised to anything even or odd right so if it is divided by 242 the remainder will be positive one so really doesn't matter power is even or odd so no need to calculate further so over here the remainder will be one over here the remainder will be one so one into nine plus one into nine so nine plus nine eighteen will be the final answer right so not that difficult you just have to recall this thing only otherwise it's so simple so I hope that's clear to you. So I, I've already explained uh, this thing in so many sessions that uh, generally whenever there are these type of questions when you have to find out the remainder just try to find out this term where the divisor is one more or less right uh, in related to its dividend okay. So I hope this is clear. If the perimeter of triangle is 42 units, uh, okay, question from geometry, and its area is 42 square units, find the value of 1 upon x plus 1 upon y plus 1 upon z, where x, y, and z are length of the three altitude uh, to the three sides of the triangle. Okay, so see, um, what I can assume is, I can take the base is as A, B, and C, okay, of the sides, that means precisely length of the uh, sides of the triangle right a b c now altitudes are x y and z so if base is a uh, the area of the triangle will be half a x right similarly half b y and half c z right in all the cases we have been given uh, the area of the triangle so that's 42 in each case So precisely x is equal to uh, 84 by a, y is equal to 84 by b and c is equal to 84 by c. So 1 upon uh, c x, y and z. So 1 upon x will be a upon 84, 1 upon y will be b upon 84 and 1 upon z will be c upon 84. Now we have to find their sum. So precisely it is a plus b plus c by 84 okay so perimeter is given to us as 42 that is a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c is 42 so value of this expression is 42 by 84 that is 1 by 2 okay so that's clear 
a very simple concept we have used over here now uh, what are the last three digits of 1011 into 2012 3013 4014 up to 6016 okay so, so uh, when we have to find out the last three digits of any product what we can do is we can uh, divide the expression by 1000 uh, so we can get the last three digits see if you have if you have to find out the last two digits then uh, you need to divide by 100 and when you have to find out the last three digits you need to divide by 1000 okay that I have already told you in various sessions so here what I do is uh, individual last three digits I find out uh, find out over here so that's 11 into 12 into 13 because it's 1011 if it is divided by 1000 the remainder will be 11 so 11 into 12 into 13 into 14 into 15 into 16 okay uh, we can make it more simple uh, since we have 1 2 and 5 combination over here so uh, 1 from 1 2 and 1 5 combination we will be getting 1 0 that's 10 okay so what I do is I just uh, take 2 from here and 5 from here right so 5 threes are 15 from this 5 and this 2 I can get 10 so the third digit we are trying to find out the last three digit so the unit digit over here will be zero because we are getting one five and one two combination now we have to find out these through two digits now if we have to find out the last two digits of this product what we can do it to make it more simple we can divide the expression by 100 okay I am reducing it just just uh, um, listen to me carefully since we have already found um, the last digit the third digit now we just have to find out the two digits so if you have to find out the two digits from this expression the last two digits we can divide the expression by 100 right now just go ahead uh, 16 into 6 that is 96 so 96 is minus 4 from 100 okay so we are left with one minus sign I just pick, uh, uh, put it over here then okay 14 into 3 42 42 into 11 is this 462 so 462 uh, just cut all of them 462 when divided by 100 the remainder will be 62 so I'm left with 4 into 62 into 13 with a negative sign so I reduced I eliminate this negative sign by taking 62 as minus 38 from 100 so instead of 62 I just write 38 so the minus sign will be eliminated now 52 into 38 uh, we can uh, get the last two digits by just manual multiplication not a problem so we already have 0 then 8 twos are 16 so we have 6 then 7 okay uh, bef uh, after this we don't don't have to calculate since we just have to get the last three digit that is 7 6 0 over here right this is just by the normal multiplication and we are interested in just last two digits only 0 we all already have so no need to go for the complete multiplication just calculate the last two digits okay so I hope this problem is clear to you. Answer to this problem is 760.